I'm Veche and welcome to my YouTube channel. CBSC has introduced guidelines for internal assessment, practical and project work for students studying in classes 9 to 12 for academic session 2021-22. As for these guidelines, there will be 10 marks for internal assessment in each term. That means there will be total 20 marks for internal assessment. And if you look for the weightage of these internal assessment, periodic test, which will be carrying three marks, multiple diverse assessment embedded in the classroom pedagogy will be for two marks, portfolio will be for two marks. Student enrichment activities, practical work, speaking and listening activities and project etc. will be for three marks. Now, portfolio is important component of internal assessment. Portfolio carry two marks, but students are supposed to prepare portfolio for each subject. That means for five subjects, total weightage for portfolio will be 10 marks and students are supposed to prepare a portfolio for both the terms. That means total weightage for portfolio will be turned out to be 20 marks. In this video, I will be giving some suggestive ideas that how students can work smartly and can prepare their digital portfolio. But before starting with that, let's understand from CBSC point of view that what CBSC want to achieve by these portfolios. Section 4.3.2 of Secondary School Curriculum 2021-22 explain why CBSC has introduced portfolio. The criterion of portfolios is suggested to broaden the scope of learning and achieve diverse curriculum outcomes by examining a range of evidence of student performance being assessed. As for CBSC, what is a portfolio? A portfolio is a collection of chosen work by students representing a selection of performances that is collected over time and describe the learner's efforts, progress, and achievement in key areas. This portfolio can be seen both as a process and as a product. As a product, it holds the performance records and document a student has produced during the learning course and represent a collection of their learning achievement. As a process, it enables learning to monitor their own learning systematically, reflect on their performances, redirect their efforts, and set future goals. What purpose does a portfolio serve? A portfolio offer possibility of assessing more complex and important aspects of learning areas, provide a profile of learners' ability, helps to dwell among students and awareness of their own learning, provide an opportunity to share own learning with peers and review and give feedback to each other's work. And as for CBSC, how to prepare a portfolio? It is suggested that the portfolios would include classwork and homework assignment that would help evaluate learners' progress. Besides, this portfolio should be a space for students to display his or exemplary work in the related area. In this video, I will be giving some ideas that how students can work smartly to prepare their digital portfolio. If you are a teacher watching this video, please share this video with your students. Or if you are a student watching this video, please share this video with your friends. So for preparing digital portfolio, we will be using Google Slide. And in order to open Google Slide, just open Google search engine and search for slides dot google.com or you can uh, sign into the google and just click on the ellipses and then scroll down you will be able to find out google slides there or if you use mobile phone only on play store you can search for google slide and then install google slides 
I expect that you know how to work with Google Slides, how to insert slide, how to add text to the slide and how to give transitions to the slide. So I'm not going to teach you all these things. I'm simply going to give you ideas for preparation of your digital portfolio. To start with, just give one nice name to your portfolio. Uh, it can be your name like Veggie's portfolio in your portfolio is your introduction. You can write nice introduction like, hi, my name is Vijay. I study in class, uh, whatever your class is, then your school. I'm passionate about cricket, music, or whatever your passions are. Then your city where you live in, your date of birth, or any other relevant information that you want to share. Then on other side, you can uh, insert a nice photograph, then your name, and then start date. Start date is important here because uh, portfolio as for CBSE is a long journey and the start date uh, should be normally starting of the session. Then you can include your strength in your portfolio like creativity, confidence, taking initiative or whatever your strengths are. And on the other side, you can make a nice collage of your strength. Along with the strength, weaknesses are important. You can write about your weaknesses, whatever your weaknesses are. On the other side, you can make a nice collage of your weaknesses or uh, you can write quote from uh, internet like my weaknesses are my, not my shortcomings but my personal challenges that I would try to overcome. Then you have to include your goals, both short-term goals and long-term goals in your portfolio. Your short-term goals will be the goals that you want to achieve uh, within the academic sessions. Like uh, I will work hard to get more than 95% marks and uh, like uh, I will build a morning routine or I will learn something new every day or whatever your short-term goals are. And then you have to include your long-term goals also. Whatever you want to be in life or whatever you want to see yourself uh, in life. Then you can include your hobbies, uh, like whatever your hobbies are. On one side, you can write about your hobbies, whatever your hobbies are, like music, reading, video gaming, or whatever it is. And then on the other side, you can make a nice collage of your ho hobbies. The next important part is uh, your achievement. Here you can include whatever award or certificates or prizes you want. You can write your past year's performance in exam also and if you have photograph related to that you can also include those photograph in my achievements. Then your participations, my participations here you can write uh, in whatever activities you participated but you could not win the prizes there so you can include all those activities here also and uh, you can insert the photograph you can make the nice collage of your photographs also then the next important part and the most important part of your digital portfolios that will be the subject enrichment activities and in subject enrichment activities you can make uh, slides according to the subject and uh, in these slides you can include whatever photograph you have related to that subject activities uh, these activities may be your class activities, your homework assignment, your quizzes, or you won any prize in that uh, subject, declamation, debate, or a nice video that you prepared. All those things you can include here in these subject enrichment activities. And I will suggest that for each subject, make two or more than two slides where you will be showing your all achievement, your all participation in different activities related to subject. So for each subject, you will be making uh, different slides for English, Hindi, for mathematics, science, social science, and so on. And then toward the end, you'll be writing introspection, whatever your introspection is and whatever you are doing. I feel good that I have learned to stay focused and striving to stay resilient. I used to get distracted easily while studying, but by keeping my mobile at a distance, I'm building my 
study habits or whatever your introspection is, you can write that introspection here. Then the last slide in your portfolio, that should be your contact information. You can write here your, your email, your mobile number, your WhatsApp number, and then last you will be writing last updated on. Whatever date you are updating it, you will be putting that date here because this will be a long journey. You have to continuously work on your portfolio. You have to again and again include the evidences in your subject enrichment skills in your portfolio and you have to submit it twice in a year in the first term as well as in the second term and as a result you have to continuously update your portfolio so in the end you will be writing here last updated on then after updating it you can just go to the share page at the top of uh, your slides just write then email address of your teacher and then you will just click on done and then this project will be submitted to your teacher. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share with others and subscribe to channel.